And volunteers say that they are heartbroken after taggers targeted the historic La Mesa Depot over the weekend, spray painting three train cars. There were only a few things of this kind in the country. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty is live in La Mesa where volunteers have been trying to clean it up. Vanessa? Yeah, Kimberly, they have been hard at work. You can see here on the locomotive, they've covered this part up. But if you walk with me, you can see here the refrigerated car has graffiti all the way down the caboose as well. There are only about six trains like this in the entire country. Volunteers tell me these are gems to historians who say this is part of our history, relics of a bygone era. Diane Hyatt is the president of Pacific Southwest Railway Museum. She spends anywhere from 60 to 80 hours a week volunteering here. The original depot built in the 1800s. It is open as a museum here, open to the public on the weekends. Police say this tagging happened late Friday, possibly early Saturday. It's around $1,000 in damage. Investigators are right now running it through a web-based graffiti tracking program to see if they can generate some clues here. The depot has been targeted targeted before, but nothing like this, nothing quite this extensive. I'm just more like heartbreak. I'm too old to get angry. I think a lot of people are afraid because they think gang members, oh my gosh, there'll be retribution if I say something, but it's all confidential with the police department. They're not going to release their information. So, you know, if they have footage from some of the cameras that might be around here, that would be helpful. And Diana says this is going to take a lot of work. You can see all of the intricate stenciling on this car. This whole thing is going to have to be repainted and then they're going to have to go back in and restencil all of that. They're hoping after this to possibly install surveillance cameras. Reporting live in La Mesa, Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News.